of sport, we're going to head to the home of tennis. And Elizabeth is at Wimbledon with the weather. Hello. Hello, Riz. Well, if you'd have come to me just two minutes ago, I was standing underneath an umbrella and uh, underneath a very heavy downpour. We even had a little bit of hail for a time as well. Uh, some really heavy showers. I was going to say we got away with it so far at Wimbledon today, but obviously not. I've got very wet feet now, but never mind. A few brave souls still behind me on Hemman Hill. Uh, another brave soul from today, of course, was our Brit lady, Katie Bolter, and she is now through to the third round. So well done to her. So are we going to see any more showers as we head through the rest of the day? Most of the heavier ones have been off to the north and the west of us. There have been some thunder and some lightning around. But this evening, still some showers knocking around, as you can see. And as we head through the rest of the evening, there'll still be some showers, I think, and then they'll gradually sort of fade away. So there'll be lots of long, clear spells around and uh, it should stay mostly dry overnight tonight. Temperatures will drop a little lower than they did last night, back down to high single figures, so 9 to 11 degrees Celsius perhaps into tomorrow morning. So a slightly cooler feeling start to the day. And then tomorrow, well, low pressure is still nearby, so we're still likely to see this mixture of sunny spells and some showers. But the difference between today's showers and tomorrow's showers is that tomorrow's will move along quite quickly. I think there'll be a brisker southwesterly wind, and we'll see highs of around 21 or 22 degrees Celsius. So it will feel a little warmer, I think, on Friday. But again, watch out for the possibility of some showers springing up here and there at times. Now, as we head through into Saturday, again, that low pressure, not too far away. And we are going to see a little bit of wet weather, I think, here and there at times, including here. But it will be a dry and a fine start. There'll be lots of sunshine around, I think, on Saturday. Temperatures, again, peaking at around 22 degrees Celsius. So it's about the seasonal average. Not particularly warm, but not cold either. And then a line of showers could sweep through as we head through Saturday evening. And then by the time we get to Sunday, we lose that low pressure and we start to see high pressure building in. So there's a good chance that for middle Sunday, which we're now playing, of course, then um, that we'll stay dry and there'll be lots of sunshine around and temperatures could get as high perhaps as 23 or 24 degrees Celsius. And of course, that high pressure set to stick around into the start of next week with a bit of luck. Katie Bolter still in by then, Riz. Let's hope so. Elizabeth, thank you for that. A quick reminder of the main headlines. The mother and stepfather of a five-year-old boy whose body was found dumped in a river in South Wales have been given life sentences for his murder. Cardiff Crown Court heard that Logan Mwangi was dehumanised during months of abuse at the hands of members of his family. And NATO leaders meeting in Madrid have pledged more money, more weapons and more aid for Ukraine as Britain says it will up its defence spending. And that's all we've got time for, but uh, plenty more stories on our website where you can also check out the new exhibition at the V&A, Celebrating African Fashion. And more, of course, on our social media. From me, though, and uh, all the team here, thanks very much for watching and do enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.